shenanigans is over we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm actually proud of myself today I'm filming like a two-in-one so you might see this outfit in another video but before I get deep into this video I want to get you guys opinion so I filmed a video last week of eyelash tutorial and the tutorial is a really great detailed eyelash tutorial I show you two different ways how to apply lashes now if you watch my videos you know one of the first things I do when I sit down is put a lip oil on so I tried out a new lip oil last week and I didn't think anything of it because something like this has never happened to me but I put the lip oil on and I'm filming a video when I go to edit the video the uh, lip oil is pulling like really bad do you know you know you guys know what I'm talking about you know some people talk and they get that build up here not that it was saliva build up but it was the lip oil and I didn't know so again there's a lot of build up with I wouldn't say build up it was more of a pulling like it was really sticking together in my inner corners and when I went to edit the video I just did not like the way that looked and then I thought about refilming the video, but then I feel like it's not as genuine as, you know, when you're filming like in the moment. My question to you guys is, one, would that bother you? Does that bother you? Like when you see that on some, when you see that on somebody, it bothers me. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to post it. But I want to get you guys opinion to see what your thoughts are. Should I post a video or should I just not worry about it? Maybe film the eyelash tutorial another time. Let me know. All right, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into this boxy charm. And it's been a minute. I think, man, I think I missed one month of boxy charm because I did miss a featured product in June. But we're here now and we're gonna see what's inside. And information pamphlet, and I'm just gonna dig in. Okay, so the first product I pull up is African Botanicals. That is the Mineral Cleansing Mask. Okay, okay. Next item I pick up is, oh, I've had this before. Why did I say this to me again? Glow Fatten MD Problem Dry, Dry and Aging Skin Solution Wake Up Call Overnight Regenerative Facial Treatment. Overnight Creamy Facial Moisturizer. Yeah, that's how that looks. I honestly don't mind using a night cream in the daytime because I love how rich the nighttime creams are. So, uh, I just love BoxyCharm because I was just running out of moisturizer. So that's right on time. And then we have the Hair Nova Liquid Eyeliner. I'm not really a liquid eyeliner girl, so I might give that to one of my girls. And then, let's see, what is this? Be Your Own Desire. This is... It's a liquid lipstick. All right, and then the last item is... Ooh, I've never had a Nessa... Well, I take that back. I, I'm biting my tongue because, yes, I did. I tried the Yummy Skin Foundation. The Nessa Myricks Beauty Evolution Powder. Ooh, we'll just feature this product. Since I have to do my makeup anyway, let's go ahead and feature this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I shall return. All right, so let's go ahead and open it. And again, as you can see, it is a yellow color. I'm really hoping it's not as dark as the Sasha Buttercup. My favorite setting powder is the RCMA No Color Powder. That that powder is really great. Price point is really good. And it works on all skin tones, like from, from the lightest color to the darkest. It just really just blends in with, basically, again, it's no color. It blends right in. All right, so we get 0.39 ounces in here. It's $25. 
Okay, this powder is $25. I'll show you guys this container compared to the Sasha. Huge difference, huge, huge difference. So let's see what it's talking about. It does have like a little seal on there. I can see it has like a little netting in there. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. I usually don't like that. I probably won't do it today, but I'll probably take this yellow filter off and then just use the product as I need it because I feel like, I don't know. I feel like <clears throat> those little filters don't get enough product out. But I'm gonna go back in and make sure I'm not creasing. All right, so here's the powder applied. I'm gonna finish up my makeup real quick and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I am back and this is my makeup. Today I'm wearing, I did a couple different foundations today. I mixed Futurist Skin Tint Serum Foundation by Estee Lauder and then the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Um, I was just gonna use this one, I didn't realize how my color changed since since I last used that. I did go on vacation to get tan, so I should've known better. But those are the foundations I'm wearing today. And then my concealer is my all-time favorite. It's the Lancome Tint Eye Doll. This is concealer I use every day. I've used this concealer with the Sasha and also my RCMA powder. Now, this Danessa powder, it blends really good. Like it really melts into the skin and it just fades away. I really like that about it. It was easy to work with. Not a lot of leftover powder after I applied it. The one thing I will say about it, it comes off darker than, you know, what it looks like. So for color reference, this one, this one, as you can see, looks darker than the Danessa one, but when you apply this one, like it, the color, like it gets really dark. That's the only thing I don't like about it. And I will say that, I don't know, I just feel like it toned down my highlight a little bit more than what I would like. It does look good and it feels good, easy to apply, easy to work with, but I do like my highlighter like a tad bit lighter than what it is and my other powders that I use are usually fine when I set my highlighters. But that is it for this product feature. You guys let me know if this is a product that you have used before. Again, I don't have a lot of the Danessa Myra products. I have one other product and um, it's a pretty good product. So let me know if you have used this and what your thoughts are i'm not even sure if she has any more colors in this product okay so i did check it out and she has 10 other colors for myself i would probably go with more of like a neutral tone color or even like a no color power if she has that but that is it for this video guys thank you guys for joining me today so if you're not following me on instagram and tiktok give your girl a follow at lrh makeup also my second handle on tiktok which is underscore beauty over 40 and of course if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel please consider subscribing to my channel turn on post notifications that way you'll be notified when i upload new content all right guys until next time remember the best makeup you can wear is confidence bye